Do you think we're like in a anything for content era? Yeah, of course. Man, what? Niggas out here burnt out. I would definitely. You seen Lush? Talk to me about it because I haven't got to see it like that. I, I, I did not watch it, so. Cat. Flapper, You're a you liar. Him. He lied. I, I didn't watch him. Niggas I out saw, here burnt out, I man. saw like three. <laughs> <laughs> I saw crying. like three or four minutes so, and it was just like the dude Rick telling him like get your old job back and stuff like that. Yeah, he was on uh he was on stream just basically just like having a breakdown or some shit. Did my boy know. crash all the way out? I'm not gonna say all the way out, but damn near. Like he just What happened? Did he crash out, Josh? I mean Flacco, Flacco were, said what weren't happened. you talking you to him last night? Yeah, come on, break that down. Uh well no. Like me directly no. I was on community and they tapped into to to like talk to talk uh about that video but then i said during that video i haven't seen the quote unquote like three hour four hour live stream that he did but you seen some clips though from it no you ain't seen anything no no nah, man like a turning over a new leaf all of a sudden i, the I ain't watched the video <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel me listen I, I told him last night too i didn't watch that lunch video you feel me oh, so right. right so you know i, I wouldn't know you feel me yeah. Josh, did you watch the Lusher video? I watched most of it, I think, in parts. I don't think I sat down and watched it front to back. That was what a did lot. You, what did you gather from that, dear sir? Oh, man, I felt bad for Rick. I felt bad for Lush from the minutes that I saw. I mean, what I got out of all of that is, you know, I'm probably not going to say much, but the one thing I did get mostly was, man, I felt bad for Rick. <laughs> and making Lush kind of making him relive the moments of, you know, him finding out and everything. And just that didn't look cool. And, man, Rick seems like he's put up a lot for that stuff over there. And I, from someone who's behind the scenes, I just felt bad for him. That's That was my biggest takeaway. For Rick? Yeah, I felt bad for Rick. And that nigga was getting, like, secondhand embarrassment and shit. Yeah, I was actually, like, kind of, I was glad that he tried to cringe? help. Oh, it oh, hurt. Yeah. Lush is cringe. You know it how Lush hurt. be coming? That nigga Lush was on that motherfucker basically just... Lush could be two things. Very knowledgeable or very, very crashy outy. <laughs> Lush has knowledge when he's talking <laughs> hip-hop and shit, but he be on some cringe yeah, shit too. Like, this this, this what I'm going to say. <laughs> like, your chuckle on the side was tight. Lush be, be doing the whole fucking... He be complaining about the comments and shit. It's like, bro, you might have to just get off the internet for a little bit because it's like, they ain't going away. So you be feeding into that shit a little Honestly, too much. Honestly, Lush looking at the comments and getting sad would be like me looking at the comments and then calling me fat and then I get sad like dog. It's not that deep, right? These are changes that we have to make within ourselves. <laughs> Don't crash out over the shit. Just hit the gym. What was your take on the whole... Uh... Crip Mac, Lush shit. Because this all started because they haven't saying really, that. I all. haven't seen what Crip Mac said about Lush. I swear. Did he say anything crazy? I don't think nah. he said anything about uh, Lush. Well, then what happened then? Shit, uh, it's more so Lupe was saying that uh, Lush stole the interview from from him, from her. Well, aren't she they She said it was supposed to be on her channel, and then all of a sudden it ended up on Lush's channel. So because the pop-up is Lush's channel. No, nah, the pop up is I think Rick and Ralph's. I think his name is Ralph. It's so from shit. what I understand, the pop up is yeah, it's Rick and Ralph's. It's the studio. It is a YouTube channel, but I think that they also host other YouTube channels, and I think that they have their work like they have parts in all of those. So like, so like they filmed because didn't they film Crip Max episode at the pop up? Mm -hmm. The pop up's far as freak like further than here, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is, is Lupe also was part of the pop up as well, right? Yeah. So, so at that point, we gotta gather why she wasn't present in that interview and why there wasn't like a profit split or some sort at that point, especially because they were both present when he came home. And if I'm not mistaken, they took him straight to that freaking studio, right? 100. percent Right. That's so. fucking crazy. First of all, like taking some picking someone up from jail. It's very nice, and that's a great gesture, and it's probably very nice for them to see familiar faces. But then, like, to and take you them... Don't know. But well, also that, too, right? Because how much does Lush know Crip Mac? But then to bring them back straight to the studio and put them in front of a mic, that's kind of vicious. At least let my guy get home, get a nut off, eat a steak. Take I a mean, shower. I'm pretty sure it was his idea to do it, too. He probably wanted the bread or whatever, so it's not. I'm not going to just say it was just the... Uh, a bad play on Lush's part. Like, I'm yeah, not saying it was a bad play at all. But if Lupe's sitting here saying that it was supposed to be on her channel, that's the only thing I'm like, damn, how did that happen? Uh, 
I think the realistic thing would have been for them to do a profit split right there since they were both there and Lupe should have sat in on that interview and did her thing, especially being the the real friend. Because Lupe is his real friend and Lupe is a very nice person. And honestly... Oh, she's just a nice person. She's, right? she's, mm-hmm. she's actually Lupe. cool Shout as shit. Out to Lupe. And you know what? Like, she's going through a really hard time right now too. So it kind of probably is like a mental vicious strain to be dealing with the like tragedy that struck her family and then to be worrying about some internet shit. I it's seen like yesterday crazy. she got her own studio, so I don't know. Shout out to China Mac and Lupe for getting their studio. I think they're starting their own thing, and that's that's kind of crazy for the podcast culture.